Alice Device coming to you guys today with a review on our TV series Stranger Things. Oh, I found this hair getting in my face. Anyway, so where do I start? I was impressed. Um, I can say that the show, as far as where it went, kind of leveled out with the age of the characters and their development as they aged. Um, so the age, as far as the content, is there. Um, I saw this particular season more so horror. Um, it kind of lacked for me the comedy aspect that I feel like the previous seasons kind of had. Because I guess that you think about the age group, of course, they're going to be more funnier because they were kids, right? But this is more so teenage age um, of these characters. So that aspect, as far as that element of comedy, is there, but you kind of have to, like, catch it, you know. Um, I will say, as far as the costumes, decent graphics, I was not too impressed with in some of the scenes. It just seemed and looked too unrealistic, and I know, like, this is a realistic series, but it just wasn't impressed with some of the graphics i was kind of disappointed with them um but there were some really good scenes you know um that i can say um this kind of reminded me of it with bill scarscar um i messed his last name up but he played it and it the most recent one and i bring that up because there were some elements in this series that reminded me of the movie it um so keep that in mind as you watch or let me know if you agree with that if you see it and you can see the parallels between the show and it and i'll get to my favorite i feel like favorite favorite character and um why i think he kind of i can't really say too too much because this is not a spoiler but i will say the character chris campbell reminded me of Tom Riddle, the character he played, Tom Riddle from Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets, if you don't know where that's from, you're not a real Harry Potter fan. But anyway, I'm a Harry Potter fan. Back to it. So Tom Riddle and this character, I'm not even going to say the character's name because then I will give it away, but the, the actor is Chris Campbell. So he just took it for me. He took the season for me. He, But it was an unexpected... I feel like growth of love, you know, and I can see the character build up and development where some of the characters that were kind of behind the scenes that kind of have a bigger part in this in this season. And I feel like some of the main characters that you've seen previously in the other seasons, they're kind of like not behind the scenes, but it's kind of like they're kind of like the supporting people. I'll just say that can't say too, too much, but. Um, things I didn't like, I mentioned the graphics, um, I will say it was this one part in particular, it, it, it can be graphic, it can be violent and explicit, so if that's not something you're into, just be aware of that. Kind of liked it, the unexpected, um, but as far as like how it ended, and as far as my favorite character and actor I mentioned, person I feel like that took the season to the, a whole nother level, um, yeah, he kind of grew on me, but it was a gradual grow. And, I mean, if you watch Harry Potter, you can kind of see why I brought up Tom Riddle with this character. If you haven't seen it, see it, and then let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm kind of missing it that... But I, I, I see that parallel with this character. Tom Riddle, that actor, he was sexy. This actor, Chris Campbell, who's playing this character. I'm not going to mention the name, but he's playing this character. Just sexy to me. Just, 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 I, I couldn't like, even when it was parts where it was like, okay, you're not supposed to like him. Like, I just was like, he should be a Marvel villain. Like, he has like this depth of villainous to him in this season. Especially in the last episode. And that's all I will say. Um, rating. 
compared to the other seasons, I will say this possibly could be one of the best. One of the best seasons. Um, even though there was fluctuations in who had main parts and who had main kind of like jobs and things of that nature. But I liked where they went with this. Um, what I, Another thing I didn't like is like... You could kind of guess, you could kind of guess um, kind of what was going to happen with the last episode. Um, and I wish it wasn't that aspect there, but it, it kind of was a kind of predictability and predictable piece to it. Um, because everything has to kind of be cohesive and connect. Keep that in mind. Everything that you're watching, pay attention because it's interconnected. Okay, that's all I could say. But I am just amazed. I am really upset that the full season isn't available on Netflix. But the wait better be worth it. But this season, it seemed like it, it will be. This is probably the best I feel like TV series as far as the season goes that I feel like I was really like blown away and shocked at, you know, with some of the parts. Um, but yeah, as far as like its category and its genre and, you know, all the other elements that go with that. But that's it. That's all I'm going to say. You should tune in. Let me know in the comments you've seen it. Let me know what you think about my correlations with it. And also Harry Potter, Tom Riddle. Let me know if you can agree. Let me know what you think. Let me know who your favorite character is or was. Let me know if you were disappointed with the changes that they kind of made with the main characters that you've seen previously in previous seasons. And then now bringing in the new characters and the new elements and who kind of were the main people. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day.